using memos for data analysis in Atlas TI 9 Mac. This is how your interface could look like when you query your data and write up the analysis. In this example, the code co-occurrence table is pinned to the middle of the screen. The Project Explorer has been expanded to the right so that the memo editor is positioned next to the table. We recommend that you prepare a memo for each research question or topic you want to write about and begin your memo by specifying what you want to write about. Next, think about how you can find an answer to your research question. What kind of query do you need to run? To find answers to research question 4, we need to take a look at the results of a few code co-occurrence tables. The results can be displayed in the form of numbers, visualized by the Sankey diagram and the heat map. And of course, you can also access the data behind the numbers. Important is that you not only take a look at the results, but also write down your thoughts, ideas, and interpretations. A good idea is to start by summarizing the data, then begin to interpret the data. Think about possible theoretical explanations, draw upon other studies that have reported similar or contradictory findings, and build up your explanation step by step. If you come across a quotation that you think you would like to cite later on in your report, you can link it to the memo via drag and drop. You can also link a memo to a quotation. The number behind the memo, here too, shows the number of quotations that are linked to the memo. In case you wondered how you can set up your interface like this, here's how it works. Create and open a memo for the research question you want to work on. Then, expand the Project Explorer so the memo is pushed to the right-hand side. Open the tool that you need to query the data and pin it to the screen. Once it is time to write your report, open the Memo Manager and export the memos that you have written for the various research questions. In the Memo Report window, you select quotations, their content, and optionally the codes linked to those quotations. If you have set up the memo as recommended, it includes the research question, the path you took to find an answer to the question, your summary and interpretation, and some quotations that illustrate it. This way, the research process becomes transparent and others can comprehend how you found answers and derived conclusions. You can save the memo as a text file and open it in Word. This is how it might look like in a report. The quotations you have linked to a memo can be added to the text where appropriate, and the reference, like the quotation ID and the location in the document, can be added at the end of the quote. 